let's talk about here it comes. You guys ready? Here it comes. Nico. Iamale Ava. Oh, you bet you think I bet you thought I didn't practice that one, huh? And you know I know I'm pronouncing it right. I'm literally looking at it right here. This is what Tennessee Volunteers has on their roster card. Nico Iamale Ava. There it is. Jeez. <laughs> so let's talk about him. All right. Let's talk about him. He's quarterback for Tennessee, five star from California. He profiles so athletic. And here's the thing: I know CD played volleyball for a number of years. If you want to talk about like the level of athlete that volleyball players are in terms of like raw, like like raw athleticism, like hand-eye coordination, bounce. We're talking about explosiveness, explosiveness, reaction, anticipation. anticipation. It, it is a they're. Like elite volleyball players are elite athletes, right? Nico is an elite athlete. He's got an older brother that plays on Long Beach State, which is a very good volleyball program there. He himself was a highly rated volleyball player. I mean, he's, what, 6'5"? I mean, he is a dude. He's got the size. He's got the arm talent. It, the spring game, man, like, in spring game last year, people were already excited about this guy. People were already excited. This was arguably, arguably – Number one quarterback in last year's class. I know some people had uh, opinions about other quarterbacks, and it was a really good quarterback class. But Nico, in my eyes, was probably the number one quarterback coming out of that cycle. And you know, he looked like that in, in the Iowa game. Yeah, sure, he made his freshman mistakes against what the best defense in the entire country metrically. Hey, it's not the best defense in the country, but like one of the best defenses in the entire country. I mean, they shut down Michigan in that Big Ten championship game, and he looked good. And he looked good whenever he played this season. You know, he's got mobility. He's got arm talent. He's also got some talent around him on this team in terms of wide receiver. We'll see what the offensive line looks like next year because you had a couple games where you had some injuries and the offensive line was not particularly good, a.k.a. that Florida game. Um, And, and you're going to be missing a couple guys there. But, gosh, I, he, is, he is a stud. There's a reason that he's pretty high on the Heisman odds this year. Absolute monster. I'll let you touch on Nico a little bit. Yeah, you you mentioned like the high profile recruit football and volleyball. We love the dual threat uh, capabilities, right? You're gonna see a couple other guys on here at the rest of our list. Yeah, he's a redshirt freshman because he redshirted. Obviously, Joe Milton came over, um, was in the program a couple of years, and he got his chance to be the starter for him. Up and down a year for him, but everyone was waiting for Nico to take over, and this was the year they circled after a really successful 2022. With Hedden Hooker and company there, uh, Nico Yamalaveva, yeah, ooh. Nico, like you mentioned, has a lot of talent around him. Dante Thornton is a good deep threat. Bruce McCoy is returning from injury. Squirrel Wright, you got the, the true freshman Mike Matthews, who I love. Chris Brazell from Tulane. Holden Stays coming over at tight end from Notre Dame, and obviously Lance Hard to bring in to protect uh, at one of the tackle positions for you for Tennessee. I love it. I mean, obviously, the potential is off the charts. You kind of forgot how athletic he was until that Iowa game, and you saw one of those couple of those runs, like, wow, just literally in a flash for a guy six foot six, 206 pounds to move like that with the arm strength, the arm angles, the capability. I love that he got a year to develop, but obviously, that red shirt they probably won't need because he will be gone in a year to the NFL draft, or I guess after next year in terms of. After his red shirt, sophomore season, right? But yeah, obviously, I love that Josh Hypo is is his coach because he puts guys in positions to really succeed. Last year, let's be honest, they were kind of a defensive and running football team, and that was more so because of the the limitations you had consistently down to down with Joe Milton throwing the football. But I think with Nico, you can be really, really explosive, right? And the deep, the deep throws over the middle running with his legs. I love it. I love it. And a breakout from him, what does that mean for the team and for Tennessee? That means massive SEC success, right? That means potential playoff bursts. That means a complete raised ceiling of this team's, uh, obviously this year, but also the year after that. Yeah, I, I I love it for Tennessee. This is a guy that we had to talk about. Obviously, you know, he kind of broke out in that Iowa game with the three rushing touchdowns, obviously four total touchdowns in that game. But I think this year, He'll really be on national attention in the SEC with chances to play against some really good defenders and make them look silly. Yeah, and, and if you want to talk about the talent that's going to be surrounding him, uh, you're bringing in Lance Hurd on the offensive line, highly rated offensive line recruit. If you haven't checked out our transfer portal video on him, 
coming from LSU, you definitely should. Also, Chris Brazell. We also talked about him in another transfer portal video as well from Tulane, wide receiver. He profiles really well. Holden Stays from Notre Dame, tight end. You know, maybe he hadn't, hasn't broken out yet, but who knows uh, whether or not he'll look pretty good. Uh, in this offense, Brew McCoy, is he, he's back next year, right, for one more season? Squirrel he's White, I know he definitely is. is. Is Brew McCoy back? Yeah, he's got the ankle injury. He's returning, yep. That's right. Yeah. D Dylan Sampson, who, by the way, I thought was just every bit as good as uh, Jalen Wright and Jabari Small, uh, I thought. So this is, this is a pretty star-studded lineup here on offense. I mean, you're looking at it Heisman odds-wise. He's sixth favorite in the Heisman. So this is by no means a sleeper. Again, this is not a sleeper video. This is a, hey, this is a rising star in college football. Here it is. So, yeah, Nico's. Nico's kind of a stud, so y'all y'all are going to be tuned in for those games for sure because they will be on national prime time. Yeah, side note here, I, I would love to play with him in the NCAA football game that's coming out this uh, this summer. He's going to be a guy that's going to be super fun. He's literally a creative player in, in, in Madden where you just, I'm going to make him six foot six and run around, crazy arm angles, you know, throw off the run platform, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. he is. Crazy freak. fast receivers. Yeah. Yeah, now Give however, offense. if you're building a franchise, right? I mean, Tennessee's already established. You know, like if you're building a franchise, you're playing franchise mode or, or dynasty. You're you got to be building up the FIU's, the Arkansas States, the North Texas's. You got to you got to Kent State, Kenny Burns, Kent State, Ball State. You got to be, you got to be building them up over there. So, uh, but yeah, no, he will be fun. Definitely, I'm sure he'll get a plenty of usage in online play.